In this video, we're going to take a look at the Clam AV or the Clam Antivirus for Linux users. Now, this can be installed on Windows and a Mac, but I'm going to take a look at it on the uh, Ubuntu Mate, which is a Linux operating system. Now, if you found the video on YouTube, I will provide links below uh, the tabs that you see up here. I will provide links below in the description area. But let's take a look at what Clam AV is, and this is from the creator's website. This is Clam AV is an open source antivirus engine for detecting Trojan viruses malware and other malicious threats now if you're using Linux a lot of people has the thing saying you don't need an antivirus program but you can still mess up your Linux system there are viruses and threats out there that can mess it up not as much as for Windows but there's still viruses that you can get and if you transferring things from a Linux system to a Windows system you still want to scan files that you going to transfer so that you don't infect another system from the files on your system so the newest version is version 1.2.1 and if you're a Ubuntu user and you're using the Ubuntu repositories uh, it's not the newest version now don't panic if you're still using the older version as long as you're downloading the virus signatures you're still getting the most current update of the antivirus signature files so it's still comparing the files on your system with the most updated antivirus signatures this is just a updated version of the software itself now uh, you can click the download link here to give you access if you're a Windows user you can click the link for Windows and you can download the zip file the MSI, MSI installation file for Windows users if you're a Mac user you can click here and download the installation files for Linux users you can download Fedora and Red Hat users can download the RPM files I am using Ubuntu so I downloaded the Debian file and in a few moments I'll show you from my website how you can download it from other places as well from their github or you can download the source file and install it from source on your system now if you need any additional information or other third-party uh, add-ons you can click here for more information now let's take a look at the three links that I, I in the past I've covered clam AV but I broke it down into the, the three sections you know uh, clam scam which is part of clam AV is a command line antivirus scanner that scans files and directories for viruses and you can scan your whole entire system and I have if you read this right here how you can use the command line scanner to scan the whole entire computer and to remove any files that it finds now clam scam and clam TK are part of the clam AV virus uh, program if you don't know what versions on your system you can open up the terminal and you can type in the command that I have here on the screen you just simply type that in there press the enter key and as you can see I'm using clam AV 1.2.1 which is the most current version out at the time of making this video which is uh, a Halloween of 2023 at the time here so I do have the link so you can go to the website so in the future if there's a newer version out you can check to see uh, if you are using the newest version now there's another way that you can test the version of your antivirus program you can open up the TK version which is the graphical user interface version you can click the information file here and it will show you the clam AV is using 1.2.1 and that's the antivirus program and of the graphical user interface version it's 6.16 so if you're using something older than 6.16 you can get the newest version from this tab so you can click this link go to the downloads or the releases I prefer going to releases because that will take you to the github and as, as you can see that's the clam TK github website the most current version at the time is 6.16 you can scroll down and look at the history of the older version 6.14 6.13 and so on and so forth but then it will display the most current version at the top and if you don't see the links to download just simply click the little left hand hash which changes it to a down point and error and you can pick what file that matches your system if you're a Fedora Red Hat user you can download the RPM that matches your type of operating system and type of system in my case I'm using Ubuntu so I download the DAB file and then I just follow the instructions on my website to install it on my computer so both for the clam AV and for the clam TK you can just simply and the same thing here I provide a github where you can go to the clam AV 1.2.1 find in this case is the deb file they do have uh, RPM files the MSI, MSI files for Windows users so you download the installation file and then you can follow the instructions on my website like if you 
once you download the dev file just double click it use your package manager to install it click the install button put in your password wait till it says 7 version already installed and for the graphical user interface you're doing the same thing you're going to where you download the file click install put in your username and password and wait till it says same version is already installed and then it will place it into your menu once you access the menu you will have the graphical user interface where you can scan a file scan a directory you can update your antivirus definition files you can update the software itself now one thing I like about clam TK is uh, like once I bring up my file manager which is the Kaha file manager I can right click and I can say scan for threats on a particular file or if I wanted to scan a whole folder like I keep app images in this folder if I want to make sure that there's no viruses on there I can say scan for threats and it will go through and it will scan all the app images in that particular folder and it will tell me if there's any infected files in the folder so you can scan a whole folder you can scan a file or you can click on your desktop or file system and scan the entire file system by right clicking and telling it to scan now while it's scanning in the background I'm going to show you how you can install the add-on to your file manager now I'm using Ubuntu Mate which is using the Kaha file manager so if you click the add-ons link here you'll see that it will have the add-ons for XFCE KDE Nemo and GNOME they used to have an older version of the Mate that no longer works with a newer version of Ubuntu Mate so I kinda modified the older version so that it works with the newer version so I've put it on my website which is the Dropbox all I did was some simple modifications for it so if you follow my instructions here and I think uh, the picture image on this particular website shows it to the right of the sign up but if you click here you don't have to sign in or anything it's now to the left hand side so you can click download download this particular file and then follow these instructions once you download it I got, have the instructions where you want to place that particular file and then once you reboot your system you'll have access it says no threats found I'll go ahead and close that out that way that once you reboot your system you'll have access to right clicking and choosing scan for threats so I know that this, this is not a very long video but it's so you can make sure that you're using the most current version of clam TK which is the graphical user interface or clam scam which is the command line interface for the clam AV antivirus program so if you're using the older version of clam scam I recommend that you update to the newest versions now I don't know if any uh, advantages if you go through and really read on those releases some of the improvements they made since they are making improvements I recommend that you get the most current version so that way it stays compatible with your new operating system or the operating system that you're currently working with hopefully this video has helped someone and have a great day